what impresses me about Shepard is the very same thing that impresses me everywhere else. Like if I come somewhere and I'm impressed, it's the human weapon system. It, it's the airmen, right? It's the five people we just gave coins to that um, I feel strongly we could have found, I don't know, how many more, hundred more out there. Um, I could find airmen like them at our other wings. Like they're there. Um, they're doing different things on a daily basis, but they are why we win our nation's war. And so I'm continuously impressed by the people. Um, they are our greatest resource, and we have fewer of them than we've ever had. So we keep asking them to do more and more, and we keep asking them to do it on a voluntary basis. How does Shepard fit into the bigger picture of AETC and the Air Force? And I say Shepard is the bigger picture of AETC and the Air Force. Shepard is like a microcosm of the entire Air Force. You know, you got the 8 and the 8 you got the NATO mission, the, 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 the coalition here. Um, you have a power projection platform with a flight line, and you have all these little fobs, if you will, all over the place. So you have the mob and the fob. Um, and you have airmen who start here and come back here repeatedly. Um, you have civilians and contractors, you have white jets. I mean, it's like, what? So I say, what don't you have here? We fight our nation's wars as a unit, and unit cohesion is really hard, and the trust that is required for unit cohesion is hard to build over the Zoom screen or the CBR screen. There is no replacement for face-to-face -face and human contact and being able to go out and see it, do it, feel it, and be energized by it. So what I've learned is you're never done learning. And there's, there's always um, something right around the corner that I don't know that I need to learn, um, which is the value of being here.